request has terrible audio output. If you try to connect to this jack headphones, like this from HTC Vive, so the same like in Deluxe Audio Strap, you will quickly realize that the sound from them is very quiet comparing to the same headphones connected to HTC Vive or to any high-end headset. To have great loud sound, I use this. Deck with amplifier. This one is very powerful. Um, it costs about $30, but there are cheaper options. For example, this one, insane value for money, about six bucks. This one, great for Quest 3S, but um, it's not more loud than Quest 3. So connecting this to Quest 3 is pointless. Um, this one, absolutely trash, waste of money. It's so quiet, it's unusable. But also many adapters like this, which will just not work. And most of very cheap adapters will just give you sound like this one. So more quiet than we have natively in Quest. Okay, so in my research, there are only two really good options for Quest 3, not 3S, because for Quest 3S, if you just want to add an audio port, this is okay. I have a whole video about it. But if you want louder sound, this two options. So the first one, mm, oh, and one more thing. You will need also uh, some splitter so you can charge Quest at the same time and use USB device because this is connected to USB. All uh, those DACs are connected to USB. So mm, I have something like this. It looks terrible, but it works perfectly here. I use a lot of Velcro, Velcro to secure it. In the future, I will just 3D print something, but Velcro works and you can do the same. Okay, but this is how it looks without uh, those Velcro. So just simple adapter, power delivery on one side and the normal USB on the other side. Such small power delivery hub cost about four to ten dollars. And like always, all affiliate links are in the description. Mm, this is um, Grave Audio DAC deck, uh, model DA06. If you buy it, be very careful to buy exactly this model which I linked, because a lot of devices look exactly like this. It looks very unique, but believe me, a lot of uh, DACs look the same and uh, they have different chip inside. Uh, so you have to buy exactly this one. It will give you much uh, louder sound than Quest can natively deliver, but it's still not very, very loud. I mean, most of the time you will still use Quest on full volume if you buy this one. If you buy this uh, Fio, this is KA11. It's much more powerful. And this I never use on full volume. I still have two or sometimes even three bars left uh, on uh, this volume uh, level indicator in Quest. So this is the reason why I like to use this one so much, because there's always more power that I can use if I play something what was recorded uh, very quietly or some games uh, need more volume than other. For example, mm, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I use it on higher volume than other games. Uh, 
rhythm games, like music games. Mm, also, I like to use them on higher volume. And then this is very useful to have this headroom in volume levels. Mm, I did some measurements. And oh, be before I tell you about this, there's another option. Um, Bobo VR E3 Pro head strap with built in a sound card, DAC. But I noticed that it's probably the same uh, DAC that here. So volume levels are almost the same like in Quest 3. And um, it's okay because they made it for Quest 3S. Uh, so, um, but yeah, if you connect it to Quest 3, there's almost no difference if you connect uh, headphones here or directly to Quest 3. But with those two, you will really hear the difference. As I said, I made some measurements. I made them a very long time ago. And later, after I bought this uh, about six months ago, I repeat everything because uh, my measurements were out of scale on this. Mm, this is so loud, then I had to record uh, all samples again. And uh, those headphones, even on the maximum volume, they still sound great. This is not too much power for them. But for example, those super popular COS, mm, the model is, I never remember, uh, KSC75. Very popular headphones for Quest. Very cheap and very good quality. But they cannot uh, play music so loud. Uh, the sound quality is way worse on full volume. But this is great. But only with additional uh, deck like this one. So here you can see some waveforms recorded on different decks different amplifiers and as you can see the difference between the most loud FIO KA11 is huge comparing to Grave Audio but even the sound from Grave Audio is already way louder than natively from Quest and for some people it could be enough but mm, if you buy Grave Audio, be prepared that maybe you will still use full volume all the time. And with FIO, you still have few bars that you can use, but you don't have to. If you want to use audio like me, then, as I said, connect some splitter with power delivery to Quest, like this. Secure it, because if you don't, and the audio will disconnect it, power also will be disconnected. And remember to always connect some device with uh, data like um, headphones first and later power. This is very important for Quest. If you connect power at the same time, um, you can expect problems like the power will connect and disconnect over and over again until you disconnect the battery, for example, like this and connect again, and then it will be fine. But yeah, this is the very important rule. Connect always uh, something first and at the end power. Later I connect this and it's done. In fact, I connect it more like this. The fact that I'm losing sound for a few seconds, like it's changing from headphones to the speakers, when the battery in my head strap is over, is bad thing and good thing at the same time. Bad thing because it's happening. But the good thing is that it indicates me that I need to change the uh, battery because sometimes I don't realize uh, that I have to do it. And with this setup, I always know. Uh, the other problem is uh, with Quest HDMI link. It recognizes many devices 
as a capture card. So if you connect something like uh, this, it will notify you. There will be pop-up if you want to use it with Quest HDMI link. And you have to click cancel every time. Uh, probably they will fix it at some point. But yeah, if you installed Quest HDMI link, this can be an issue. So if you don't use it or you use different app, you can always uninstall Quest HDMI link and this will uh, never happen. And the last problem, if you want to use uh, not Quest uh, HDMI link, but normal Quest link, like connected to PC with cable, uh, don't do it. <laughs> but if for some reason you have to, uh, then it's not possible uh, with setup like this. You have to connect uh, DAC to um, PC and use longer cable or use uh, bigger USB hub and connect it like this. Uh, and don't do it because virtual desktop is so much better. <laughs> it's today, it's not even fair to compare them they are on totally different levels. So use uh, virtual desktop. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. So for most people, there will be no problem at all. And it will just work all the time. And you will gain much more volume in headphones without any issues. As always, all affiliate links are in the description. And that's it. See you.